this short, fiery Akasha practice. We're going to begin in Bhairava Mudra. You can take the back of the right hand and the palm of the left hand around the low belly. Sit up tall and close your eyes. Holding space here as we dive into Akash, ether, space. And we invoke Shiva and our own sense of creation and destruction, our own sense of coming and going. And in this practice, we'll give attention to the focus of the exhale, to what it is to dissolve, to the endings, to the completion. So we'll pause here a few rounds. Focusing on the completion of the exhale. And then moving into the mantra Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Fingertips out in front of you. Inhale, pull the back of the heart forward and up. A full breath in. Exhale, round and curl. All the air out. 100% leaves the body. Low belly pulls in and up. Hold the breath out. So we're holding empty Uddiyana Bandha. Release the belly. Gaze forward and up. Take a full breath in. Exhale, round and curl. Long in the tailbone. One. 100% of the breath out. So squeeze that last little bit out. <clears throat> that suction up and under the rib cage. Slight tuck of the chin. You just pause with the emptiness. And one more. Inhale. <clears throat> Exhale. Release and come forward onto your hands and your knees. <clears throat> I'm 
go deep through the fingers and inhale, pull the back of the heart forward and up, that full breath in. And exhale, round and curl, Uddiyana Bandha, all the breath out. Unless, of course, if you're pregnant, go right to the inhale. Otherwise, focus on that empty and the pause here. Do more forward and up, inhale. Round and curl, exhale. And pause in the empty space, suspended. And then one more, inhale. The inhale, the fullness comes from the exhale right here, all the air out. We hold. Release. Come to neutral and point the ball, the right foot to the sky. Pause here, extend through the crown of the head. Take a full breath in. Exhale, round the knee to the nose. <clears throat> hold the breath out. Pull the low belly up and in. A few more. Inhale. Full breath in. A long breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Full breath. Wide in the space of the lungs. And then empty breath. Last one. And exhale. Hold. And bring the right knee to the earth. Ball the left foot to the sky. Hips and shoulders stay square. Long in the back of the neck up through the crown as you inhale and round and curl exhale inhale ball the foot to the sky up through the crown of the head full wide breath and exhale all the air out 100% leaves the body round and curl and hold three more inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Bring the left knee down, and Mahatha Asana. Hips over the knees, arms walk forward, rest the center of the forehead on the earth. And slide forward under your forearms or elbows for Sphinx. <clears throat> Deep through the tops of the toes, inhale up through the crown of the head. And exhale, curl the low belly in, chin to chest, hold the breath out. A few more, forward and up, the elbows draw slightly back, feel the back of the heart pull up through the crown of the head. Exhale, low belly lifts, and keep with that, or maybe lift the knees too. Pelvis down, inhale, back of the heart, Forward and up. Exhale, low belly lifts, maybe the knees. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Lower down, take the hips toward the heels, 
a version of child's pose where you feel that long space from the fingers to the hips with the third eye center resting on the mat. <clears throat> and then downward facing dog. Crawl the toes under, lift the hips. <clears throat> Inhale to full and exhale to empty, noticing the space between the breaths. Inhale, right toes to the sky. Pause here, spread the toes so there's space between your toes and the air, a little bend in the left knee, and set the right foot between the hands. Bring the left knee to the earth. Bring your hands to the ribcage, uplift the spine. Hands to the low belly, pull the low belly back, and then drop the hands by the sides. Up through the crown of the head, space in your teeth, space in your forehead, space in that log jam of the brain. Inhale, pause. Exhale, pause. Keeping our attention on the completion of the breath. So keep emptying out those last few drops of air. Giving that moment's pause, holding that empty space. And then release and fold over that right leg. Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, draw forward and up through the heart. The outer right hip draws back. And exhale, as you fold, a little curl into the low belly. Inhale, forward and up. And exhale, fold and curl. Hold that empty space. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, bow, empty. Two more. Last one. Bend the right knee and step back to your hands and your knees. Anahata Asana. The Sphinx. Pull forward onto the forearms. Elbows draw back. Inhale, the heart lifts. Exhale, forearms lower, belly lifts, maybe the knees, hips lower, inhale, heart lifts. So if you want to keep the elbows down or if you want to lift the elbows up, but keep the back of the neck long. Exhale, lower, and lift. Three more, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, full that little pause. Exhale, a hundred percent of the breath out. Pause. One more. Lower down, hips to the heels. Toward child's pose, we rest the third eye down. All that space between the hips and the hands. Downward dog. <clears throat> Left toes to the sky. A moment's pause. Bend the right knee. Space in the left toes. And step the left foot forward. Drop to the back knee. Hands to the rib cage. Pulling upward. 
through the rib cage, through the crown, and then the low belly pulls up and in. Arms dangle by the sides. Slight tuck of the chin. So Udana Vayu up through the crown of the head. Breathing in and out, keeping the attention on the completion of the exhale. And hands down, hips back, Ardha Hanumanasana. Gaze forward and up as you inhale. And fold in the low belly in and up as you exhale. Inhale, forward and up. Widen the space of the lungs. And exhale, bow. Breathe in. And breathe out. Two more. And bend the left knee, step back to Anahata Asana, the third eye center rests, and pull forward to your elbows for Sphinx, inhale forward and up through the heart, maybe the elbows lift, maybe not, exhale lower, curl the low belly in, maybe the knees lift, maybe not, four more, inhale forward and up. And exhale, curl. Three more. Last one. Lower down, hips to heels, toward child's pose, the third eye center rests. And downward facing dog. Inhale, right toes to the sky. Exhale, right foot between the hands. This time, crescent lunge. <clears throat> Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. And take the right hand to the sacrum or across the low back with the forearm. Stay forward in the square of the right knee. Feel that long space on the left side, up through the left fingers. Keep the hips and shoulders square, and again, keeping the focus on the out breath. Slowly release and bow over the front leg pyramid. You need a slightly shorter stance. Inhale, pull the heart forward and up. 
Exhale, fold, and that little curl into the low belly. Hold the breath out. And gaze forward and up, inhale. Fold that little curl. Exhale. Three more. Keep the attention on the completion of the exhale. Step forward on the right foot, a version of L pose with the ball of the left foot to the sky. Keep a micro bend in the right knee, maybe hands on blocks. Pull the heart up from the earth, slight tuck of the chin forward through the crown of the head, stay here. Or right foot, right hand rather, grabs the left foot. Tension still on the exhales. You've got the foot kicking into your own hand. And slowly release it back to hands and knees. And Nahata Asana. Walk the arms forward, the forehead, third eye center rest. Pull forward into Sphinx. The heart pulls forward and up. Maybe the elbows lift. And exhale, round in and curl. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lower back down, and exhale toward child's pose. Third eye center rest. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left toes to the sky. And exhale, left foot forward, crescent lunge. Take the left hand to the low back of the sacrum, or left forearm all the way across the low back. And slowly release, bowing over the front foot, that slightly shorter stance if you need it. Inhale forward and up through the heart. And exhale, bow, and that little curl in. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Last one. And 
Bend the left knee and step forward onto the left foot. Ball the right foot to the sky, a little bend in the left knee. Forward and up through the heart. Stay here or left hand grabs the right foot. You can also have your right hand on the block. Steady breath, focusing on completing the out breath. If you've got the foot, kick into your own hand. And then slowly release it back. Anahata asana. Forward to sphinx. Curling forward and up as you inhale. Round and curl, exhale. Two more. Pose. Downward dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Lift halfway and lengthen. And folding in. Rise all the way up to stand as you inhale. And hands to prayer. Exhale. Bend the right knee back behind you. Grab the inner arch of the right foot. Left hand to the low belly. Pulls up and in. Left hand to the heart. And off we go, kicking and breathing. Natarajasana. Keeping the attention on the out breath. Space through the heart and up through the crown of the head. That little tuck in the chin. And slowly release a full body Shiva Mudra, left arm and cactus, standing left knee bent, angle the right arm and the right foot, standing in our own sense of creation and destruction. Release and go right to the other side. Grab the inner arch of the left foot, left hand at the low belly, it pulls up and in. Right hand. Runner into the heart. Kick the left foot back into the left hand, up to the crown and your steady breath. Those little pauses with full and empty. And release that full body Shiva Mudra. Left hand in a concealment, left knee bent and angled, right knee standing knee bent, right palm in abaya, fearless. Finding our own sense of being fierce and all loving. And release, hands in Bhairava Mudra. Bhairava, this other name for Shiva. And hands by the sides. Inhale, sweep out and up. And exhale, folding forward. Lift halfway up, inhale, and walk it back to the hands and knees. Bring the right foot in front of the left knee. Snuggle that left knee right up behind the right knee. Open the feet, Gamakasana. Take your seat all the way to the earth, or if that's not so good for the knees, you can lay all the way on your back in the same pose, but different relationship to gravity. Otherwise, you can sit up, hands to the feet, root the feet down. Take the back of the right hand into the back of the heart, and the left palm into the front of the heart. Up through the crown of the head, steady through the feet, focus on the out breath. 
dissolving the breath completely. Feeling what it is to complete the ending. Notice how it makes way for the inhale and the breath. Release the hands and fold forward any amount. Then rise up and come forward onto your hands and your knees to reverse sides. Left foot in front of the right knee. Open the feet wide, the back all the way. If you're on your back, you can just stay on your back. Reverse around your legs. Again, the hips are grounded, feet grounded. Yeah. By chance, you happen to be sitting on your feet, then slide something under your booty and sit up on it. Open the feet a little wider. Keep the feet pressing down. Take the back of the left hand to the back of the heart and the right palm facing in and feel the space between your hands. Release the hands out in front of you. Decide if you want to, how deeply you want to fold. Few rounds of breath. Keep the hips drawing back, the feet pressing down, the out breath as your attention. And rising up and bringing your feet out in front of you, wrap your arms around your shins, take your eyes into your knees, focus here on simply the exhale, the full and complete empty of your breath, giving way to our to-do list, to the mental chatter, to the current drama and whatever has your attention. We give a completion, full emptying out, that we can empty our baggage, our mental, physical, emotional, spiritual heaviness as we complete the breath. And then rising up and making your way back into Shavasana. Feet forward. Arms by the sides, palms face up. Close your eyes. Become still. Allow your breath to become natural and automatic. Keep your attention on that space between the exhale and the inhale. If you have a longer to spare, then pause this video and let yourself be here resting in the space that you've created for yourself. 
otherwise. And deepen your breath, stretch and move in any way that feels like an awakening. Roll to your side and back up to a comfortable seat. Hands in Akasha Mudra, the middle finger tip to the thumb tip, palms to the sky. And hands to prayer at the heart, the eternal sound of Om. Nice full breath in. your forehead, third eye center, inhale, and bowing forward to you, your breath, your practice. 